the channel. Right, today I'm going to do a video on picking a another multi lock. There we go, it's keyway. There's a cylinder. There's a thumb turn. Okay, I'm going to put it in the vice. There we go, all good. The bay's weapon of choice is going to be the Dada pick. Okay, the the Brex fill sort of stuff inside, black and red stuff, I actually did myself. Um, it doesn't come like this, it's like white. Um, but yeah, this is, this is it. And let's get the pick out of the box. Okay. There's, there's the pick. It says five pin, but that is definitely not a five pin. Okay, so let's stick this in here. There we go. Using the tension bar. I like using it because I'm having problems with my hands still after my mountain bike accident. Um, right, what I like to do when I get it. Is I like to just a little kick, which I like to just give it like a little rake. So you just see the finger kicking down there. So it just uh, this gives you a better starting point to start picking it. Okay, so we we'll start with number one, number one, counter rotation and drop down. Number two, counter rotation again, and let's try and stay on the peak of the pin. In, and drop down again. Uh, number three, yep. Number three, down the same again. Number four, no, that's solid, not moving. Five, no, you can see my finger's not moving at all. Five, six, that's it, push my finger up, push my finger up, yep, drop down again. And so number seven, number seven, oh, oh, it's bounced my finger again. Up, keep turning, and then down. Oh, oh no, that's quick. Okay, that's it. That's that picked open. Okay, that's the uh, the dial up pick. Right. Anyway, so that's that. Right. What some people may struggle when picking, it's it's really about your tension. Um, I've been struggling with tension since. My mountain bike accident. I'm slowly getting it back again. So there's another process that I've taught other people as well. This process is um, if you struggle, then this take this tension out of the equation. Yes, yeah, so it's not in the equation when you're learning. So set keys as a weight. Might be a bit heavy, but this is how we get it on. So try the raking process again. Nothing really there, so let's start the pick. So I start with number one, and sort of like a click, sort of click there. Two, sort of three, red counter, mat three, four, mat five, mat loads of clicks, six, mat seven. No. Try again, so again number one, yep, that's a click, two, click, three, nothing really there, four, nothing there, no, four, nothing there, five, there's a slight little notch, six, and seven. Reset it again. Let's start from the end. Let's start from this end. Seven. Oh, look at that. Oh, straight away. You can see that big drop. Let's try here. Let's start. Okay, let's carry on. Move uh, six. 
Oh, cantorization. Number six. Five dead. Four. Oh, cantorization. No. Three. No. Two. There was a little click on two. I'm good. We don't have one. That one's up. Really not having it. Oh, cantorization one. Okay, so now we go to two. Interpretation two. Oh, bingo, done. There you go. So obviously using the keys takes that part of it out. You can start concentrating on your actual picking technique. And once you get your picking technique down, then you can go into your tension. So my theory is that you learn one part first the picking part once you've got that down and how it feels when you're on the pins to see how this moves at the same time as when you're on the pins and how it feels if it's squidgy or tight you start learning that sensation first once you've got that then you can go into the tension because you've already got that part and to me that's the idea of helping you to progress further on your picking so i hope this helps somebody and yep thank you for watching cheers <laughs>